In Europe, 140 million people travel by rail every week. Over 20 million in the UK. Great Britain's West Coast Main Line is 2,672 kilometers long and dates back 150 years. As the UK's main commuter line, it winds its way between London and Glasgow in Scotland, stopping at some of Britain's largest industrial centers. It is now being replaced piece by piece like a giant jigsaw puzzle at a cost of over $16 billion. And incredibly, the biggest civil engineering project ever carried out in Europe takes place almost entirely on weekends. To realize the enormity of the program, you really do have to realize how much is going on at any one time. The West Coast Main Line is the only direct means of rail transport between London and Glasgow. The 150-year-old track is desperately in need of replacement. With millions of people commuting Monday to Friday, the only way to get the job done is to close the line on a Friday night, bring in a massive workforce, rip out the old, put in the new, and then hand the track back to the operators on Sunday evening. Over 60 million man-hours have already been worked on the project. It's a, it's a very complex job. Our problem was how to keep all the maintenance activities and all the normal railway uh, activities going at the same time as laying over the top of that, an 8 billion pound program with regard to the upgrade of that. And every weekend we have to be prepared before we go into that weekend knowing exactly what we need and and what trains have to move out of the depots at what time, and, and we are managing that activity. Up and down the country, over 10,000 workers get ready for their weekend shift. It's almost midnight on Friday. Trains are making their final journeys before the line closes down. At 6 o'clock Sunday evening, the line that runs between London and Glasgow has to be handed back to the operators. On Friday night, if there are 20 trains that are supposed to leave the depot half an hour apart, we will track those. And if any of those get behind, and we have to step in and uh, adjust what we're doing in the field or adjust what's happening in the yard, then we will do that. It becomes a very complex picture, not only to deliver our possessions, but to drive the trains, to inspect the train before it leaves the work site, that it's loaded properly and safely to get back to the depot. It's all those types of uh, people that are needed at the right time at the right place. The pressure's on. If just one of the work sites slip behind schedule by as little as a minute, hundreds of thousands of people will be stranded at stations throughout Britain. Millions of dollars worth of equipment and thousands of men are ready to descend onto the tracks. They wait for the green light. like to get your man to lock Charlie Echo 114 and Charlie Echo 253 to danger. Okay, and once that's done, I'll give you permission to lay the protection. At the end of the service on a Saturday night, Saturday morning, they take complete possession of the line so the engineers can um, do whatever they have to do out to upgrade the West Coast Mid line. Once the last train's out to the section, out clear the bower there, we can block the road to all traffic and then hand, hand the line over to the engineers so that they can get on with their, their work. We place detonators on the track, which are small explosive shots, so should a driver run over them, he knows to stop because he's entering a prohibited zone. Above your head, you've got the 25 kV, and before we can go on and do most work, we have to make sure not only is that um, turned off, but um, make sure it's isolated and local earth supplied. At 25,000 volts, touch these and your history. It's uh, 10,000 times more than what you'd get in a domestic um, power supply. So it, it is pretty powerful stuff and it's pretty dangerous stuff. 
With safety of paramount importance, one last precaution is taken before work begins. They place a man on the track to look out for any rogue locomotives. Hello, Carlisle, sorry. Hi, mate. Uh, just to confirm, no, Dennis, that uh, all my protection is now in place. Between team, team and off junction. The signal man in charge of the track, Carl yeah. Abratis. Thank you. Right, so that's my possession actually granted at all 425 now I start arranging my work sites, etc. Millions of dollars worth of machinery comes to life. In just 38 hours, the line has to be handed back to the operators. Will they finish their work on time? Britain's commuters hold their breath. One of the world's busiest railways is facing a mammoth task. The London to Glasgow line is getting ripped up and replaced in a $16 billion makeover. It's a time-consuming job that can only take place on the weekends, on a line that zigzags from England to Scotland. The planning has to be meticulous. If any one of these metal monsters is out of position, then the whole operation will grind to a halt. It's a giant game of chess, and it's being played out against the clock. Everything we do, everything we do from rapidly, it's all about getting ready for the weekends. All the planning work, what you do, is all about the weekend possessions when there's no trains, there's no passengers, no passenger trains running. One of the sections of track is near Carlisle in the English Lake District. It's 58 kilometers in length and contains 14 different work sites. The largest being Long Ashes, where they are replacing the track. It's Saturday morning. Preparations throughout the night went well. They now start cutting up the old track, removing the sleepers, and digging down over a meter to remove over 1,000 tons of old stabilizing granite. At another site, workers are refurbishing a tunnel.